Klippenstein at TYT Investigates wanted to figure out whether or not the FBI was investigating surefire intelligence. Surefire Intelligence is the company that a child named Jacob Wall founded. And I call him a child because he's quite literally a child. He tried to allege that Robert Mueller was engaged in sexual misconduct. And then there was evidence to indicate that he was attempting to pay women to lie in sworn affidavits that Mueller had committed sexual misconduct toward them. Now, he also had a press conference on this. And we're gonna show you some clips from that press conference in just a second. But Ken reached out to the FBI, tried to get a Freedom of Information request fulfilled. And apparently the FBI declined to provide records on surefire intelligence on the grounds that it could interfere with law enforcement proceedings. Hold, you guys understand that? That means there are law enforcement proceedings against Jacob Wall. So that's big news, great job by Ken in asking for that information and receiving that information. If there was no law enforcement proceedings, the FBI would not put out that statement. They would say, no, we're not investigating him. So tick, 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 tick on Jacob Wall. So I wanna give you the exact statement provided to TYT Investigates by an FBI agent. Acknowledging the existence or non-existence of records could reasonably be expected to interfere with law enforcement proceedings. Also, TYT Investigates reached out to Jacob Wall and he released a statement saying the following. I have never been questioned by the FBI, nor have I ever been questioned by any other law enforcement agency. Further, as part of an intensive course of vetting I went through in order to obtain my concealed carry permit, I went through a live scan background check which revealed my perfectly clean record. Now, I just wanna be clear about one thing. Yes, this is the statement provided to TYT by Jacob Wall. But Jacob Wall is not someone to be trusted, especially when you consider the way he handled the press conference in which he continued pushing this narrative that Mueller had committed sexual misconduct, which of course there's no evidence of. Go ahead, James. So two things about that, number one, uh, just because the FBI didn't talk to you yet, I mean, they're not going to. They usually leave the suspect to the end uh, once they've gathered up the information. And then they ask him a series of questions and see if he's telling the truth or not after they've collected the evidence. So Jacob, if you think you're home free, <laughs> I would rethink that uh, if I were you, especially given what Ken has uncovered. Second of all, look, here's a guy who says, surefire intelligence, I didn't, I'm not the founder of that. What name so? I'm not sure what Surefire Intelligence oh, is. Oh, this is my favorite part, go. Go ahead, go, no, go ahead. No, go no, ahead. you do it, you do it, I wanna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so then of course they trace Surefire Intelligence back and it has records, of course, leading back to Jacob Wall, uh, including his mom's phone number. Oh. So it turns out he's been running things from his mommy's basement. <laughs> literally. So that's why Anna says he's literally a child. He is. You see how young he is, he's in his mom's basement cooking up by the way, significant crimes. Yes. I know we're used to the right wing breaking all the rules and the laws in this country and having and doing it with impunity and 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 claiming witch hunts and insane stuff like that. But in this case, these are some very potentially serious crimes here. Yeah. He might be in a world of hurt. Uh, Surefire Intelligence offered to pay women who had previously worked for Mueller $20,000 to lie in sworn affidavits. So anyway, enough, uh, we gotta go to these clips because they're my favorite part of this story. We've shown the TYT audience before, we're gonna show them again, let's go. Miss Cass is a, is a fashion designer, she's well educated, she comes from a good family. Uh, she is a gal who has an illustrious background, she is not politically oriented. The Washington Post reported that Mr. Mueller, they re-reported that Mr. Mueller was at jury duty as to discredit this accuser. Rather than double checking and saying, wait a second, was he only at jury duty? Sometimes people go to jury duty, but they're also somewhere else. Was he only at jury duty? No, instead of, oh, hang on, it's not funny. This is not a laughing matter. Wrong again, Bob. Uh <laughs> Yeah. It never gets old. It, <laughs> like it, the report, the reporter is laughing. Um, <laughs> so the woman that he was talking about, they said was going to show up to the press conference. She did not. Uh, later, she said, "No, of course Mueller did not do anything to me." 
and they've offered me money. So <laughs> sometimes you can be a jury duty and somewhere else at the same time. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> gone, gone. I can't. I can't. It's like the best, the best thing that came out of last year. Yeah. Well, no. I, I would actually argue well, another part of the press conference was even better when a reporter asked them. No, no, no do we have video. Okay, all right. Let's, let's watch. watch. So you're 20 years old, Jacob. Right? You're 20 years old. Describe to me your investigative experience. And when did you get this honorary Harvard Law degree? Uh, like yeah. It's a, fig, it's a figure. It's a figure. It's, it's a figure of speech. Okay. Okay. So you're 20 you're years old. What is your investigative? What is your background as a professional investigator? Like I said, I, I've done a handful of Sorry, matters. Sorry. I've done a handful of matters like this over the years. Um, my, you know, my uh, mission here is not to establish a narrative. It's not to follow an agenda. Wait a minute. It's so to bring forth. It's a, it's, it's, hang on. Hang on. It's excuse me. It's to bring forth the facts and let the facts speak for themselves, and that's what we've done here. Uh, when did you get this uh, honorary Harvard Law degree? It's a figure of speech. <laughs> no, it's not. There is no figure of speech where I got an honorary law degree. Can you talk a little <laughs> bit Harvard about your, your investigative experience? Uh, I've investigated uh, many matters throughout the years. He's 19. He's 19 years old. What do you mean you've investigated many matters throughout the year? You're 19. You just got out of high school. You didn't investigate anything. Uh, so one woman said that uh, they had Surefire Intelligence had offered her twenty thousand uh, dollars and to pay off her credit debt if she signed a sworn affidavit. As we told you, Carolyn Cass was supposed to show up at the press conference. She later claimed that Wall had given her two thousand. She had paid Wall two thousand dollars in order to help her deal with unscrupulous characters ripping her off. Now you're going to be shocked at what happened next. Jacob Wall ripped. Her off, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I don't know whether he's being investigated on that as well. Uh, and then he, uh, the Surefire Intelligence, had uh, said that Michael Avenatti, who has other problems, but in this case had assaulted a woman, uh, and uh, they uh, proudly tweeted out, "Surefire Intelligence strikes again." Uh, Avenatti was released on those charges because it. it it appears that they are not substantiated, uh, but that was a public admission that they mm -hmm. were the ones rigging the charges against Avenatti. Uh, so he yeah. could be investigated for that. And then meanwhile, he was going to investigate, Il investigate Ilhan Omar's marriage in the state of Minnesota, filed fake death threats against himself in Minnesota. <laughs> he could be investigated for that. So he has a great number of legal problems that might be facing him. And one more question from that press conference directed at him, and in that particular case, his co conspirator Jack Berkman. The reporter asked, Are you both prepared for federal prison? <laughs> and now, given what Ken Klippenstein has uncovered, perhaps they should start to get prepared. Yes. So, look, these he are hit serious a wall. matters. What can I say? Yeah. Oh, mm. okay. These are serious matters, and so it's funny because they're so absurd and over the top. But uh, but if anybody else uh, commits these kind of serious felonies, they'd be going to prison for a long, long time. Yeah. So under no circumstances should they get a free pass because we're all used to the right wing lying, uh, making up charges against people, committing crimes. Uh, man, this guy is so out of control. Even Gateway Pundit had to suspend him. They're not sure yet. They're looking into it. They ran with his story. Yeah. They were all about it. Of course. Yeah. Gateway Pundit is the worst of the worst in alt right fake news, smears against everyone with no regard for the truth. If they have to say, oh, that might have been a bridge too far, oh my God, that means you're way off the bridge and perhaps under federal investigation. Two easy ways to follow Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.